I just want to see this bracket. I just want to see the start. I just want to see this first match. I want to spectate every other match that's going on as well. I just want like a universal TV with all the volleyball matches going on at once right now. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with High Q Season 4, Episode 10 called Battle Lines. Last episode, it was everyone dealing with their nerves, getting ready for the, the spring tournament. You know, time went on. We're at the spring tournament. We're we're here. It's literally the day of, and we're gonna find out what happens. I am excited. Everyone else is excited. We're ready. We're here. No more talk. Let's go. I'm not even gonna do the plugs. High Q season four episode ten called Battle Lines. Let's just go right into it. <laughs> She gave her bag to her mom already, and he has the same bag, so that kid just accidentally took whatever bag we have. So something's gonna happen with that. I feel bad. Somebody's pass is gonna be missing. That's what's gonna happen. Somebody's pass was in the bag, and that kid took that bag. Oh, he has his pass. This is not his shoes. Okay, that's even... That's better, though. His pass would have been... Eh, shoes? We can get some shoes. I mean, it's not Yamaguchi's fault. Yeah, it's definitely not Yamaguchi's fault, but... His phone is in the bag, too. So what are they going to call it? See if whoever has the bag will be oh, there's a phone in here. Let me answer. Okay, so the mom answered, said, hey, my son, excellent. Yep. Nice, mother. Ooh, Kyoko coming in clutch? He was on the track team. It's a 10-minute ride by bus. This is the best manager you could ask for right here. Look at my girl go. She's gonna make it. She's quick. She's skilled. High stamina. Smart. Beautiful young woman. What could go wrong? Nothing. I'm not jinxing it. Ooh. I need to watch Run with the Wind, man. Now she's watching them from the a place she can't do it anymore. Did she get like injured injured from that incident? Aww. I can totally understand that. Teammate True. Bro, there's so many little details when it comes to playing volleyball when I thought about depth, perception, all that stuff. That you know, I would have never thought about that. Oh, even the lights shining down on you? Not be <laughs> this is going to take some getting used to. Oh, they feel bad. So she missed the bus, which sucks. She has to run back. She didn't have any juniors to take that spot. Oh yeah, it's all about what life is, passing on the torch and trusting it to someone new. Oh yeah. Feels good that you have that confidence in somebody that can handle that, you know? It must be a huge relief of weight in your shoulders. Oh, there's like an actual hurdle over her way to get to her team. Hell yeah, look at my girl go. Kyoko, amazing as always. 
This is my battle line right now, just like the title. I love it. Got to take on that challenge. Man, she is amazing. <laughs> Down you, man. I love Kyoko. Tsuba high? Uh-oh, our first opponents are here. Tsuba Kihara. Tsuba Kihara. Ooh. Bro, any team we see now is not like when we'd see a team at any other tournament, because these are all national level teams. So any team I see, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm ready to get in there. Aruyama. Aruyama. Mm. Ah, they've done a little bit of research. That's the only real accolade we have to our name right now. Exactly. No one ever wants to play Shiro Torizawa. It's a good way to put it if you're the opponents of them. I get it. I, I, I like what these guys are saying. Good at looking on the bright side, which is good, but I don't... You know. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. You know, they still are an amazing team. Don't get... You know. Okay. These guys have a little history. I like that. Man, that's a crazy way to look at it. The first round, the team that's swallowed up by their opponents will disappear, no matter how strong you were, no matter who you eliminated before. Oh, I love the song when they play it. We're already starting, guys. First Nationals match. That was a nice call. You know, like it, Ukai was saying, it's going to take a little bit to get used to this depth perception, you know? I do like their... I'm not a huge fan of that yellow, but I really like that blue. I'm wearing a lot of blue today. Even the smallest stream can become a great river. I actually like that title a lot for their banner. Yep. Thanks a lot of sense. Yeah, when it comes down to like a millimeter, a centimeter, or just a hair difference, you know. Even though he's not the most nervous at all, it's definitely affecting him the most, which makes a lot of sense. That was us. We got one. Okay. We got announcers and everything. Oh, this is crazy. This is one of the most speculated tournaments they said in Japan. So, I was about half. Yep. Oh, did he really do that? That was a miracle shot. He missed it. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I, love, I just still love how nervous he gets when Yamaguchi goes up. Good. It's exactly what we need. I like that. I like that. What would that be? Okay. This is some great actual therapy. Okay. So that thing is his recent point. Focus on that. Get back to normal. S serve. Focus on that. Ooh. That golden area. Ooh. Yep. Kind of fucked him up a little bit. Nice. Yes. Let's go. Keep this roll up, Yamaguchi. Remember what uh, Hinata said a couple of times ago? You need to get 10 points. Yep, let's go. <laughs> That's my boy Yamaguchi. Okay, they got it back. We still. 
You got a good little, you got a good little point break right there. Let's go. Why are they making it look like this? This looks so cool with no light in the oh what is this like a this is what's going on in kageyama's mind right now this man's like in a doctor strange 5d chess fucking magician world sniper beautiful first time we actually did the quick successfully took a little bit to get warmed up but hey we're there <laughs> Bro, these episodes are gonna like be, feel like they're five minutes. I swear to God, I swear to God. Another absolutely amazing episode. I knew there would be a little bit of buildup and then we'd get into the, the first match. I could just feel the pacing of the show. I love it. But absolute number one MVP of this episode obviously goes to Kyoko. Absolutely amazing for, I wanna know, I wanna get a little bit more of context. I feel like, I didn't fully process that. She was in midair in that actual hurdle. It's something she felt her chest tighten and she felt like her legs were cutting midair. And we actually heard the sound of her hitting that uh, of her hitting that hurdle. It wasn't it didn't seem to be like an injury type thing. It seemed to be way more mental. So did she just lose the drive to keep pushing forward to actually cross over that battle line is that the the point in which it was just became an obstacle for her and she just couldn't overcome it and so when daichi asked her to join the volleyball team it, it it was just kind of something to do she felt like being invested in something felt good but it was it wasn't as if she was emotionally or morally invested into the team until that you know it became these weren't random people anymore these were her teammates and she got juniors that she talked to people that she cared about people that care about her it became like a close-knit squad and so because of that she feels this overwhelming drive to overcome that obstacle in which she couldn't overcome earlier is that what it was because I, I loved how not only is it an obstacle in her mind it's, it's definitely I would say more mental than physical, but even though she has to physically do this, she still sees this obstacle physically in her way and she leaps over it beautifully and it cuts to her in her like track, you know, uniform and she's just killing the game. And I'm just, you know, this is my battle line. She will do it. She fucking throws up the fist. She's amazing. If you guys just want to give me a little more, you guys gave me so much clarity when it came to Shira Tori's I was coach and when it came to a lot of things, if you guys just want to give me a, you know, I, I, I love the in-depthness when it comes to a lot of these characters flaws and the, and the things they have to overcome. So I just want to be able to fully process it, you know, like, you know, I, I love all the info you guys give me. So you guys, you guys are amazing um fuck i already i didn't write down the name of the school because this these guys the only one i wrote down was uh i believe their captain or the one who really didn't want to have a repeat of last year's offense the maruyama they have a lot of cool people on their team though it seems i'm really enjoying this team and i like their mentality when it when it came to um shira torizawa shira torizawa is a known powerhouse known banger of a school and they're like damn we got to go against these guys they beat shira torizawa you know obviously we've never heard of them but you know like lucky breaks happen they beat she we watched the game it wasn't too bad like it's not shira torizawa even though these guys beat shira torizawa we're not going against shira torizawa so we take the dub in this in this scenario at least of situations which i personally agree with like if i had to choose who i'm going against i'm going against karasuno especially if i'm the other team's perspective knowing shira torizawa winning you know the going into nationals the past three years fucking easily and then you got karasuno this unsuspected team coming out of nowhere i'm choosing them all day every day you know you always choose you know they definitely are the underdog in the situation so i get that just i really like the team they're going against right now these these uh blue uniformed kind of kind of yellowish kind of beigeish in there i really like that but overall like i said these episodes are feeling like they're five minutes long fantastic i am so excited to hop into more of these if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below like always i appreciate you dapper squad have a great day you guys peace out